Mr. Speaker, Honorable Senators, we all live in Kenya, and I would like to make this submission. These gadgets we have here capture every word uttered accurately, so that if I was found tomorrow to have lied to these senators, sanctions can be brought on me. And I would have thought that that fear of telling a lie to this honorable Senate, to me is more powerful than even bringing a medical report. We've had many medical reports uh, generated outside hospitals. We see them in courts almost on daily basis. Mr. Speaker, you will remember the rush that was there when I was asking to be given up to 5 p.m. And it was a rush. Was I to fail to come back to this noble house at 5 p.m. waiting for a medical report when the doctors there are busy attending to their patient, the deputy president. Medical reports I can bring. If I've told lies, that is something that can be established. And my learned friend, Mwishimua Honorable Orengo talks about giving evidence from the bar. When I was learning, they are seated down when he's giving evidence from the bar about some cases filed in Malindi that I'm not aware of. Perhaps he should have given us a copy of that. Mwishimua Speaker, Article 145, sub Article 6 is clear, and I do not want to take time of this August House Senate. Going back to it, it applies, and I would plead with you and with honorable senators to give us until Tuesday to see whether the deputy president will be well enough, no one, no one decides when to get sick and when not to get sick. I am sure many honorable senators here will have a story of their shock because of having spent an evening with somebody, then the following day they hear that the person is gone, yet that person was looking good and healthy. Let's be humane. Let's be compassionate. To an autu, kidogo. Tuesday, the heavens are not falling down to join with the earth. I thank you, much, more Speaker. Senior Counsel, uh, Paul Mwita. There is a, a hypothetical uh, question that was raised by um, Senior Counsel Orengo. Assuming and it's just an assumption. Assuming the Senate is inclined, inclined to grant your client up to Tuesday, and by Tuesday, your client is unable to attend Senate, what then will be the way forward? Mr. Speaker, I would submit the best thing is for this Honorable House, Honorable Senate, to make a decision on facts rather than assuming what may or may not happen. Point number one. Point number two, Mwishmua Speaker, is the importance of Honorable Senators seeing with their own eyes how a witness with his stance cross-examination. There are many times 
when different impressions will be given by a written document. And yet, when cross-examination takes place, individuals change their minds. One can only make a decision on whether this witness is believable or not believable when they see his demeanor in person. So there's nothing to replace orality through cross-examination. There are many witnesses whose statements will be impressive, and yet when they begin to give evidence orally, that impression changes completely on the mind of the jury. The deputy president wishes to subject himself to cross-examination, wishes under oath to deal with the evidence given adverse to him by witnesses here so that honorable senators can have an opportunity of making a decision. Is it the deputy president we shall believe or is it those other witnesses? That opportunity can only come through orality and through cross-examination. So what this House elects to do, that decision, this House, Mweshimua Speaker, they will make on Tuesday. I am always an optimist. So I am living in the belief that the doctors may be able to put whatever is wrong with the deputy president back in place so that he can be here on Tuesday, Mr. Speaker. If he's not here, let that decision of what this honorable Senate will then do be made on Tuesday. That is a humane way of going about a matter about no one had control of. I thank you. Now, honorable senators, having listened to the counsel for the deputy president, <coughs> as well as the counsel for the National Assembly, I need to consider those arguments and give my considered ruling in this matter. I will therefore suspend for five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes and I'll be back. Arise.